for First Alert Weather with meteorologist David Burgett. And today was a warm one indeed, and we actually did set a record today, not in the afternoon for a high at least, but we did set a, set a record warm overnight low at 39 degrees here, and our last record warm low was set in, at 33 degrees at 2005 here that tied the record at in 1982 and speaking about records like I just said we didn't get any record temperatures today we were actually a degree off here from our for our high today that registered at RST but our record was set back in at 47 degrees at tw in 2020 here just three years ago but for tomorrow we are going to be seeing the potential for record breaking temperatures for our high at forecast around the low 50s for us at 52 degrees here in Rochester. So tomorrow we're going to be seeing a lot warmer temperatures and right now we're going to be seeing warmer temperatures overnight here with temperatures all around the region into the 40s at the moment here. 45 in Rochester, 45 in Mason City along the I-35 corridor. And we are seeing a little bit of visibility issues tonight with some patchy fog in some places. Reduced visibility at seven miles here in Rochester along the I-35, four miles here in Albert Lee for some patchy fog fog conditions and in Austin at five miles there. So we could be seeing that patchy fog continue into the overnight hours, especially here in Rochester and across the region for tomorrow morning, about eight to six to eight miles per birth of visibility for that patchy fog tomorrow morning. So if you are going to be getting a jump start on your Christmas Eve travel tomorrow morning and into the afternoon, just take a little bit slower on those roadways. But right now we're tracking a little bit of rain on the radar along I-35, making it way into Olmsted County at the moment. I don't think a lot of this is making it to the ground right now, so maybe just a light jacket right now because we do have drier air in our atmosphere. But the, the next system we will be watching here is going to be this cold front that's draping all through North and South Dakota here. And and over the next 24 hours here, 12 hours too, ahead of that cold front, we're going to be seeing a lot of windier conditions and even some rainfall for Christmas Eve and into Christmas to really start this week. So tracking this out for you, we are going to be seeing a lot of some drier conditions for t overnight tonight, but we are going to be seeing a lot of that rainfall really come in around the 3 o'clock hour here around I-35, slowly making its way into Olmsted County here really along the 5 p.m. hour for tomorrow afternoon, and it's going to be sticking with us through really tomorrow evening into the overnight hours into early Christmas morning here, and watch this. This system is actually going to move on up slowly with a small gap here on Monday morning according to this model, but look at all this rainfall pretty much widespread there on Christmas Day into even Christmas, um, the day after Christmas too on Tuesday. So just to recap here, we are going to be seeing some scattered showers, some umbrella and jackets and those windshield wipers for tomorrow into Monday for some more widespread rain before we get a little bit cooler temperatures for a rain snow mix on Tuesday for some more isolated conditions. And then even on Wednesday, we could be seeing some stray flurries in the morning hours. But rainfall amounts right now, anything about an inch with this system to an inch and a half in some places. So that's just something to keep aware if you are going to be traveling over the next two days and the next three days at least. But we are going to be seeing some patchy fog tonight. Warmer conditions overnight here into the 40s. And for tomorrow, we are going to be seeing that rain really coming in the forecast around the 5 o'clock hour here in Olmsted County with potentially record-breaking temperatures. So this week, we are going to be seeing a kind of a washout here on Christmas, but we are going to be seeing some cooler temperatures towards Thursday and Friday this coming week. Nick?